So I'm making this video today because of those that are asking that they need verses in the Bible for protection, especially when they want to sleep. I want to let you know that these verses are very powerful. All you have to do is just to read it, pray alongside, and you see it working to protect you from harm, to protect you against evil. By the grace of God, any form of evil, you see it working perfectly in Jesus' name. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, you are welcome. My name is Pamela. I share messages on this channel. If you love it, go on and subscribe. Also, do not forget to give this video a like and also share this video as well. Let's go. So, here are some powerful sounds from the Bible that will help you greatly to protect you from harm, to protect you against any form of evil. Our God is very merciful. Psalm 140 verse 1. It says, Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from men of violence who plan to trip my feet. O Lord, I say to you, you are my refuge. You are my God. Hear, O Lord, my cry of mercy. Let the earth of those who surround me be covered with the trouble their lips have caused. Another one is Psalm 91 verse 1. You can go through Psalm 91 or you can just read only this one verse. Psalm chapter 91 verse 1. It says, He affirms that he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Protection from evil is sure with this verse. Protects one from evil, any form of evil, be it witchcraft evil, be it occultic evil. It protects one. It will protect you. All you have to do before you start saying these prayers, you have to accept Christ. You have to tell God to have mercy upon you. Plead for forgiveness so that your prayers can be answered and God will protect you from any kind of evil. The next psalm is Psalm chapter 82, verse 5. It says, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out, of course. The main reason we get defeated is because of pride is because of arrogance you notice that when things start working for you and you start applying pride in it you start being so proud you notice a fall god always makes people that are humble to rise when god start noticing your pride you see that evil ones will start attacking will start defeating pride and arrogance it can make you to fall and the enemies will attack Whosoever is in Christ is above all. You have to always have that in mind. Remove fear from you. Psalm chapter 23 verse 1 to 4. Read 1 to 4 or you can just read everything. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me in the path of righteousness for the sake of his name. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall see no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. So you can just go through and continue reading to the end. Every word by word is powerful. So the next psalm is Psalm chapter 25, verse 20 to 21. Guide my soul and save me. Do not let me to be ashamed. For I take refuge in you. Let integrity and uprightness protect me. For I wait for you. The next psalm is Psalm chapter 46, verse 1 to 2. God is our refuge and strength, a very ready help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear through the earth shakes and the mountains sleep unto the heart of the sea. You don't need to be afraid of anything. So just go through these Psalms. It's very powerful. It's going to help to protect you from any form of harm, like I said earlier. So these Psalms are very powerful. Okay, you can just check through other Psalms I will be listing now. Psalm chapter 34, verse 18. Psalm chapter 27, verse 5. Psalm 46, verse 10. Psalm 109, verse 11. Psalm 35. This Psalm 35 is very, very powerful. Like, all are powerful, but this one is a battle psalm. Psalm 55, verse 22 is also very powerful. Psalm 27, verse 1 as well. Psalm 101, verse 1, read to 8. Also very powerful. By the grace of God, God will deliver you from harm. God will protect you from harm. God will send his angels in charge over you and protect you from any form of harm. 
May God have mercy upon us and protect us as we go to bed, as we go out there, as we go out and come in. May God protect and preserve us in Jesus' name. May God bless you as you check this out. Make sure you always pray with that season. When you cease, when you pray and stop praying, it makes the enemy to rise. And when they rise, they become so many and the attack can be so much. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Also share this video to everyone. Remain blessed as always. I will see you in my next video.